Good morning. I'm, I'm up here on behalf of duct tape. I'm asking a request. We've, we've had notices out asking people to help um, at the church on Thursday mornings. Um, this past week, there were two of us that were here um, and some of our regulars were gone. I myself was gone for five weeks, as everybody knows. But there's a lot of cleaning, sanitizing, sweeping, mopping, dusting, polishing. That needs to be done every week in order to keep our clean, keep our church up and clean. And I think you all know that two people can possibly, between 9.30 with a break at 10 for coffee until noon, there's no way, even with three people, that we can do the chores that we need to do. So I'm imploring, I'm asking, any time between 9.30, come at 10 and have coffee, and then spend a half an hour maybe polishing the top of these church pews that need to be done each week for sanitation. We really need some volunteers on Thursdays to come and help keep our church the way that we would like to have it. Rick? Right, the outside. We've we've lost volunteer. I mean, we've lost people. We all know that either through death or by moving. And there's no possible way that the volunteers that are here on Thursday can keep up with everything that needs to be done out outside. So try to make, if you can, make Thursday morning a priority to come and help keep our church home up to the standards we'd like to have it. Thank you. Thank you, and I believe Duct Tape Crew is the Ministry of the Month, so that just feeds into that. Um, well, good morning. Hi. Happy Pentecost. I love Pentecost, so I'm very excited. So we are going to have a, a service today that hopefully will leave you a little uncomfortable, a little confused. Um, that's the point. <laughs> so in your bulletin, there are there's a red folder, and for most of you, I think, and you'll see that you have a verse that is bolded. Not everyone has the same verse. And the idea is that you speak that verse boldly. You can stand, you can sing it, you can whatever. But you know, it's kind of the same idea of hearing the, um, the languages and acts as, as they were said, each in their own language. So there is, a, there is moments of confusion and strangeness, and that's Fun, that's part of the fun. This is one of my fun activities, by the way. So participate and enjoy and find the find the joy in it. Um, so a couple announcements. Uh, Sister Karen Norton, well, first of all, there's a rummage sale, uh, 10th and 11th. And I believe there's need of help and pricing beforehand. And there's some times on the, <clears throat> the board outside. So please uh, sign up for some help. And on June 12th is Sister Karen Norton's ordination. It's at 3 p.m. at St. Andrews in Vancouver. Um, I have a small role in it. Uh, Sister Karen and I literally started the same day, the whole crazy process of becoming a pastor. So I'm very, very excited to see her be ordained. And I know I'd love to see a showing from Bethany to support her. She was here four months. Yeah, four months. Um, okay, there's a music and worship meeting after, and for VBS, I think you saw that there's a meeting, but basically I just need to touch base with you pretty quickly afterwards, so please don't leave without touching base with me, and I just need to con connect with you, and then advertise it. There's some flyers on the table out there. Take it, give it to some grandkids. We need some kids, so please um, find them and invite them and bring them to Bethany and at the end of June. So uh, also, uh, we I, this, is, this is the week for the second giving, and it will go to families or care of families uh, in the Texas shooting. Um, I have some clergy friends in nearby areas, and they are getting me information on the best way to serve and to give that money. So please just write Texas on your check or your giving, and we appreciate that very, very much. So with that, does anyone else have any announcements today? Okay. Well, with that, please rise for the invocation of the Spirit. Come.
Come, Holy Spirit. Who wept at the dark shadow of a cross, danced early in the morning at the opening of an empty tomb. Come, Holy Spirit, the one who could not be contained by wind or flame or breath, the one who breathes and we respond like a heartbeat, like a breath, like a heartbeat, like a breath. Come, Holy Spirit, breathe in us now. Breathe in us love, blowing away our fears and our hesitations. Breathe in us courage, transforming our hard-heartedness into passion-filled lives. Breathe in us peace, peace throughout our hearts and in the world. Come, Holy Spirit, come. come. Move. You got you to gotta stand up sometimes. <laughs> you got to sing when the Spirit says sing. I'll try to lead you along. Here we go. Volador. <laughs> you got to sing when the Spirit says sing. La la. You got to sing when the Spirit says sing. When the Spirit says sing, you got to sing along. Sing when the Spirit says sing. You got to clap when the Spirit says clap. You gotta clap when the spirit says clap. When the spirit says clap, you gotta clap along. Clap when the spirit says clap. You gotta shout when the spirit says shout. Amen. You gotta shout when the spirit says shout. Amen. You gotta shout when the spirit says shout. Amen. When the spirit says shout, you gotta shout along. Shout when the spirit says shout. You gotta move when the spirit says move. You gotta move when the spirit says move. Uh huh. You gotta move when the spirit says move. Uh huh. The spirit says move. You gotta move along. Move when the spirit says move. Uh huh. You gotta stomp when the spirit says stomp. You gotta stomp when the spirit says stomp. You gotta stomp when the spirit says stomp. When the spirit says stop, you gotta stop along. You gotta start when the spirit says stop. You gotta stop when the spirit says stop. You gotta stop when the spirit says stop. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Prayer of the day. Please pray with me. Holy Spirit of God. We live in this day that specializes in confusion in many languages. We live in this time where your spirit says peace to where there does not seem to be peace and says faith to a time where faith seems fleeting. Confirm in us your courage for faith in this suspicious age. Awaken our hope in your son, Jesus Christ, Untie our tongues that we may praise your holy name. Amen. Good morning. The first lesson is from Genesis 11, beginning at the first verse. Now the whole earth had one language and the same words, and as they migrated from the east, they came upon a plain in the land of Shinar and settled there. And they said to one another, come, let us make bricks and burn them thoroughly. And they had bricks for stone and bitumen for mortar. Then they said, come, let us build ourselves a city and a tower with its top in the heavens, and let us make a name for ourselves. Otherwise we shall be scattered abroad Upon the face of the whole earth, the Lord came down to the city and the tower which mortals had built. And the Lord said, look, they are one people and they have all one language. And this is only the beginning of what they will do. Nothing that they will propose to do will now be impossible for them. Come, let us go down and confuse their language there so that they will not understand one another's speech. So the Lord scattered them abroad from there over the face all the earth. And they left off building the city. Therefore, it was called Babel, 
because there the Lord confused the language of all the earth, and from there the Lord scattered them abroad over the face of all the earth. Word of God, word of life. Thanks be to God. Okay, so everyone who has verse one, I'm, I'm only gonna help you once. After that, you're gonna have to do this. Okay, so verse one, stand or say it, say it loudly. Let's see how it sounds. John 14, 26. But the advocate, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, will teach you all things and will remind you of everything I have said to you. The Holy Ghost is called the Comforter. He will teach all things and help us remember all things. Verse 2. Verse two, John, <laughs> or PowerPoint. That's okay, this is how it works. Well, we're going to verse two. Verse two, go for it, Barb. <laughs> Send to you from the Father, the Spirit of truth, who goes out from the Father, who will testify about me. Awesome. Okay. I would like to bring up uh, Livia and Emily. Let's see. Do you think you can, do you need the stool, you think? You think you, oh, she can do it. <laughs> okay. Here, I'm gonna get you your stool, just a second. <laughs> Here, kitty. There you go. You're doing awesome. Good job. Okay, now you gotta talk about it. <laughs> Water. Water is all around us. Like this waterfall I drew, or lakes and rivers and oceans, it can be solid, liquid, or gas. Water is important for life. The earth is mostly covered in water. People, animals, and plants are mostly made of water. Water is strong. It holds us up when we flow. It turns rocks into sand. Water makes us clean. It cleans us in a bath. It cleans us with baptism. During a baptism, the pastor says, in the waters of baptism, we have passed from over death from life to life with Jesus Christ. And we are a new creation. For this saving mystery and for this water, let us bless God who is who was, who is, and who is to come. Amen. Amen. Awesome. Okay. Wind can be strong. It is capable of destruction. Wind can be gentle, refreshing on a hot summer day. Wind creates new life, like dandelion fluff on the breeze. Wind can create new energy, harnessed by windmills. Similar to God, we can't see the wind, but we still know it's there. We can see signs of the wind like these floating bubbles. <laughs> it oh, didn't work. <laughs> Put the spirit out there. Awesome. Ah, Genesis 1, verses 1 through 2. When God began to create the heavens and the earth, the earth was complete chaos, and darkness covered the face of the deep, while a wind from God swept over the face of the waters. First Kings, verse 19, 11 through 13. God said to Elijah, go out and stand on the mountain before the Lord, for the Lord is about to pass by. Now there was a great wind, so strong it was splitting mountains and breaking, walk, breaking rocks in pieces before the Lord, but the Lord was not in the wind, and after the wind, an earthquake. But the Lord was not in the earthquake. And after the earthquake, a fire. But the Lord was not in the fire. And after the fire, sound of sheer silence. When Elijah heard it, he wrapped his face in his mantle and went out and stood at the entrance of the cave. Wind can connect us with God. So I'd 
Oh no, you can stand. I need, I need standards. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Put it near my mic. Okay. That's a good, actually, it's a good sound of rustling wind and, right? And blue. Come on up, Jonah and Gabe. Oh, oh Gabe is already up here. You want to come up? Okay. So let's see. So I want you each to pull out a balloon. Those are pretty fun. Look how nice it looks in here. There's lots of balloons. Do you see the balloons? Some of you really spend a lot of time blowing them up and putting them up, so. <laughs> ah, oh, okay, that sound I'm not fond of. Okay, but you can make that sound, but just do it once. Like, oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> so, uh, so I, want you to, I want you to hold your balloons up. Okay, so what's in the balloon? No, helium would make it just float. That's a good answer, though, right? So air, yeah. Somebody spend time blowing it up. I think that was Carol, right? <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, the store did it. Okay. So it's so, but there's some type of air in the balloon. That's what makes it expand, right? So can you? So let's try and put the balloons on the ground and see if they'll stay still. If you're not moving them, do they just stand still, or do they? No. I mean, they kind of move even a little bit, and, and Olivia's trying to make it really still on hers. But even a little bit, because there's air, there's movement, there's energy, and the balloon isn't going to just stand still the way it is. And so that's kind of how the spirit is. We're going to talk about that today, about how the spirit moves. And that's what the spirit does, is it moves. Um, it's, it's always moving. That's the moving part of the Trinity. So when we say Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, the spirit is what moves within us. And what's in the balloon again? Like, sure, air. air, okay. And and don't we need air to live? Yeah. Well, if we don't have air, then that's not so good, right? Yeah. So we need air, we know that. And and what about, like, does anyone have a cat or a dog? Jonah, do you have a dog or a cat? Two you have two rabbits? Have yeah. You have a dog? Okay, so what about your animals? Do they need air to live? Yes. So they need air too, and how about... What do we know about trees out there? What's going on they with trees? Air. They produce air. So we have this system in place that's pretty awesome. Um, but we also know that air can be destructive, too. What's a way air is destructive? Tornado. Tornado, what's another way? Hurricane. Yeah, hurricane. Gales, high winds. So we've seen definitely both sides of, of wind when we think about wind. And we, I mean, it's the same with everything, right? Water, we have an abundance of it right now. But there's a lot of places that don't have it, enough of it, right? So we see that, and we see when it overfills. What happens when the rivers overfill? What, what happens? Floods. It floods. And then, you know, we, we saw, um, there's, so the, anyway, there's, there's both sides of everything. So take your balloons. Thank you. And boys, we'll see you up in a few minutes. And we'll do our song. Thank you, Olivia. There's more if anyone would like more balloons. This is my ordination song. I'm very fond of it. This is a fairly new song for us, so if you want to want to look at some notes, I know some of you people are note readers and you like to look at the music. It is a 407 in the hymnal. Oh, living. 
breath of God, who to the creation gives life anew. Come now and fill our spirits, pour out your gifts abundant. O living breath of God, Holy Spirit, breathe in us as we pray. O living breath of God, bearing us to life through baptismal waters. O living breath of God, sighing with creation for freedom's birth. Come now and fill our spirits, pour out your gifts abundant. O living breath of God, Holy Spirit, breathe in us as we The second lesson is from Acts 2, beginning at the first verse. When the day of Pentecost had come, the apostles were all together in one place. And suddenly from heaven there came a sound like the rush of a violent wind, and it filled the entire house where they were sitting. Divided tongues as a fire appeared among them, and a, a tongue rested on each of them. All of them were filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in other languages as the Spirit gave them ability. Now there were devout Jews from every nation under heaven living in Jerusalem. And at this sound, the crowd gathered and was bewildered because each one heard them speaking in the, lang the native language of each. Amazed and astonished, they asked, are not all these who are speaking Galileans? And how is it that we hear each of us in our own na native language, Parthians, Medes, Elamites, and residents of Mesopotamia, Judea, and Cappadocia, Pontus, and Asia. Phrygia, Pamphylia, Egypt, and the parts of Libya belonging to Cyrene, and visitors from Rome, both Jews and proselytes, Cretans and Arabs in their own language. We hear them speaking about God's deeds of power. All were amazed and perplexed, saying to one another, what does this mean? But others sneered and said, they are filled with new wine. But Peter, standing with the eleven, raised his voice and addressed them, men of Judea and all who live in Jerusalem, let this be known to you and listen to what I say. Indeed, these are not drunk, as you suppose, for it is only nine o'clock in the morning. No, this is what was spoken through the prophet Joel. In the last day, it will be God declares that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy and your young man, men shall see visions and your old men will dream dreams. Even upon my slaves, both men and women, in those days I will pour out my spirit and they shall prophesy. And I will show portents in the heaven above the signs on the earth below, blood and fire and smoky mist. The sun shall be turned to darkness and the moon to blood before the coming of the Lord's great and glorious day. Then everyone who calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Of 
Uh, okay. Oh no, here I can. <laughs> you two are tall. Let me get this. You, uh, you don't oh, need that. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, okay. Can I tell them about the next week? Oh yeah. Hey, we have a big announcement. Um, Jonah is going to be in the Special Olympics next week playing soccer. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and now for a little something. In the Bible, birds are mentioned many times. In the story of Noah's Ark, Noah was able to find land thanks to a dove. The Holy Spirit shows up in the form of a dove at Jesus' baptism. My personal favorite bird is the penguin. I love how they waddle. How beautiful they look when they swim in the water. How they look like they're wearing tuxedos. And how they look out for one another in the colonies they live in. I feel cozy and happy whenever I see a penguin. Penguins are not in the Bible because it takes place in the, in the Middle East. But if a penguin could symbolize Gallo, I would say that how I would say a how the fathers take good care of eggs in the winter is similar to how God loves and takes care of us. Yeah. Amen. You know, for but, and when Jesus had been baptized, just as he came out from the water, suddenly the heavens were open to him. And he saw God's spirit descending like a dove and alighting on him. Yeah. Fire, what does it mean? Well, I'll tell you. It means power, destruction, life, passion, and the will to achieve what needs to be done. Let's talk about Jesus. It was used to see during the darkness. In the story of the burning bush, God used fire to communicate by lighting a bush on fire. At Pentecost, the Holy Spirit was perceived as a tongue of fire as it descended from the gates of heaven. In the healing of the nations, the fire showed the hopes and prayers, but also showed the danger of destruction on the map. Every Sunday, we light candles at church. When it's my turn, I feel a bit scared of the fire. I have to face this fear to over to light the candles. So to me, fire can symbolize courage and facing your fears. God gives us the courage and bravery we need to face the challenges that come in life. Thank you. Thank you. There, the angel of the Lord appeared to him in a flame of of the fire of the bush he looked and the bush was blazing yet it was not consumed then moses said i must turn aside and look at this great sight and see why the bush is not burned up when the lord saw that he turned aside to see god called out to him out of the bush Moses, Moses, and he said, here I am. Then, then he said, come, come, no closer. Remove the sandals from your feet for the place on which you, you are standing on holy ground. Thank you. <laughs> Hold on. Oh, wait, wait, wait. So <clears throat> I'm going to give a few words into that. I think that was really well done, Gabe. Thank you so much. And, and talking about fire in that way is a really good thing to talk about because, right, fire we know has destructive properties. And here, but, we're, but fire is an interesting thing because we don't need candles anymore and we don't need barbecues and we don't need some of these things that fire campfires, for example, we don't need those. We have other ways we can cook things, and, and but yet there's something about the flickering flame. It's, it comes into this spirit moment of there's something about it that we need. And so we light candles at vigils, and we light candles, uh, the Christ candle every week, and it is about facing fear because we certainly have also seen the ash 
you know, from a volcano or from uh, fires across our state, right? So we know that fire is really important. But when we're talking about, we have lots of great symbols. I'm gonna ask the kids again. So um, just shout it out, okay? So where do you see some of the things you talked about in the room? Maybe you talked about, just mention what you just said. Yeah, and down here. And so yeah, so we have something about that bird coming in. I love that penguins are a favorite. Penguins are awesome. They're awesome, right? What is somebody else have some other who who has another favorite bird? Flamingos, I love it. Okay, they're fun. What do you think, Olivia? Bluebirds, George? Peacocks. Yeah. And they come in different shapes and sizes and colors and beauty, but they they do things, right? They, you know, so even the ones that don't fly, they do something. They somewhere in you there's some attraction to that bird right because they're swooping in or they're landing or they're waddling or something affects you with the bird and the fire and so we use those symbols okay that's kind of my sermon for today so dora would you go with the this one forbearance, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Love, joy, peace, patience, goodness, and faith come through the Spirit. That's what we're hoping for today, that that landing of the Spirit comes in you and stirs the fruit of the Spirit within you. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, gentleness, faithfulness generosity, and self-control. There's nine of them. Uh, may God bless you with the fruit of the Spirit today.
may you feel that today. Okay. Let us pray together. Gracious God, teach us the fruits of the Spirit. Teach us to love our neighbor as ourselves. Teach us to find joy in each day. Teach us to send peace and to be peace and to bring peace wherever we go. Teach us to be patient until the coming of the Lord. Teach us that we are beloved and to clothe ourselves in kindness. Teach us to be generous, gentle as Jesus was gentle, generous and gentle. Teach us self-control in places where we need to find inner calm and to remove addictions from our lives. Teach us faith to praise the Lord in all our days and to follow in hope in you. How does the Spirit move you today to pray? Lord, in your mercy. God, we give you great thanks and praise for a long journey, and we pray for gentleness as they come home. Lord, in your mercy. Yeah. Holy and gracious God, uh, we want to lift up our friend Bill, who recently moved away. We want to ask for a safe transition and a smooth transition for him. And, and we know he will connect well with people. Um, and we give you great thanks for his service. And we, he says he'll be back. So we are thankful for that. God, we lift up another community affected Tulsa with another shooting this week. Oh, we ask that you pour your word into our hearts, that we may proclaim it to others. We ask that you teach us to invite so that others can be a part of hearing the word of God. We ask that you teach us to love our neighbors as ourselves because we forget that so easily. We ask that you pour peace into this world like the abundance of rain. Just rain peace upon the world and on the land and into creation that's crying out. Lord, in your mercy. Amen. The peace of the risen Lord be with you all. Please share a sign of peace with each other in the way you feel most comfortable doing.
They need to start putting it in, you know, a little bit here and there. Maybe right around so to call people to order. Like <laughs> now. We thank you for your generous offerings to Bethany Lutheran Church and to all the ministries, uh, all the extra, you know, to the families, to Texas this month, and to all the, the funds that go out and the food offerings. And, you know, as Carol pointed out this, this morning, um, your, your time and your talents and your treasures are, are all uh, needed. And we thank you for, we know, Many hands um, are put into many things, and we appreciate that. It's needed, and we appreciate you. And we're glad you're here today. So welcome. Let us pray our offering prayer. And I added in a little bit from the bulletin. Um, in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, we offer these gifts of ourselves, of time, treasure, and talent to you. O oh Lord, may the offerings brought this day be used as seeds planted faithfully and nourished lovingly so that God's way may be realized anew in this world. Amen. These are, can you go back to that for one sec? Oh, okay, you're, you're in the right place. You're good. Okay. <laughs> it's supposed to make you uncomfortable. That was the point. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Another plea for volunteers. Uh, so, yeah, so may the offerings brought this day be used as seeds planted faithfully and nourished lovingly. So the fruits of the Spirit. And, you know, to plant those seeds so that God's way may be realized anew in this world. My gosh, we need that. This world is, is a, it's been a rough three weeks. A lot of shootings out there and a lot of sadness and heartbreak. And, you know, and at the same time, there's some beautiful praise that came by with, you know, uh, PK's family back in their home. And our, our prayers are our, our breath. You know, that, uh, I'm a lover of the Psalms, but that's what it is. It's your breath. It's your breath as a prayer. It's your breath in and a breath out. Um, that's where, you know, the spirit is working and the spirit is sighing along with our, our sighs and, and their words. So we keep praying and we keep planting seeds and we keep praying and we keep planting seeds. Let us sing the doxology. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Praise him all creatures
Blessed are you, O God of the universe. Your mercy is everlasting and your faithfulness endures from age to age. Praise to you for creating the heavens and the earth. Praise to you for saving the earth from the waters of the flood. Praise to you for bringing the Israelites safely through the sea. Praise to you for leading your people through the wilderness to the land of milk and honey. Praise to you for the words and deeds of Jesus Christ, your anointed one. Praise to you for the death and resurrection of Christ. Praise to you for your spirit poured out on all nations. O God of resurrection and new life, pour out your Holy Spirit on us. And of these gifts of bread and wine, bless this feast. Reveal yourself to us in the breaking of the bread. Raise us up as the body of Christ for the world. Breathe new life into us. Send us forth burning with justice, peace, and love. In the night in which he was betrayed, our Lord Jesus took bread and gave thanks and gave it to his disciples saying, take and eat. This is my body given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Again, after supper, he took the cup and he gave thanks. And he gave it for all to drink, saying this cup is the new covenant in my blood shed for you and for all people for the forgiveness of sin. Do this for the remembrance of me. For as often as we eat of this bread and drink of this wine, we remember the Lord Jesus until he comes. For Christ has died, and Christ is risen, and Christ will come again. Amen. Let's speak now the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Come, Holy Spirit, come. Come to this table, come to each one of us, pour into each of our hearts, renew our faith, Light us on fire with faith. Light us on fire as, as seeds planted and help us grow. Give us space to grow. Help us be your word out in the community. Help us be examples of your love and your grace and your mercy, even when it's hard to do so. Come, Holy Spirit, come. Come to this table in a space of forgiveness. Come to this table in a place of meeting you face to face. Bring us courage, bring us bravery to make that trek here and take on your word in living form. We thank you, God, for our faith, for the fruit of the spirit that lives in each one of us. Help us do good in this world. In Jesus' name. We pray. All are welcome to the table of grace. If you desire to take a communion at your seats, uh, along with those online, um, please let an usher know. Okay. When you come to this table, you're welcome to stay and pray as long as you like. There's a lot to pray for in this world. This is communion for those friends online. This is the body of Christ given for you. This is the blood of Christ shed for you. All are welcome at the table. Child of God, the 
this is the body of Christ given to you. Child of God, this is the body of Christ given to you. Child of God, this is the body of Christ given to you. Child of God, this is the body of Christ given to you.
Let us give God thanks and praise. Thank you, God, for the bread that we have eaten, for the cup of blessing that we have shared, for the waters of baptism you pour over us. Creator, Redeemer, and Holy Spirit, we give you praise. Amen. Receive the benediction, and any of those who need to for BBS. I want to see you afterwards. Send forth your spirit, O God, and renew the face of the earth. Dwell among us, even though your presence will startle and unsettle us. Grant us your peace as justice and love pour down upon the yearning earth. Send us forth as witnesses, changed by your spirit. One God, now and forever. Let's stand for a canticle of the turning. Thank mm-hmm. you. you did not spurn. So from east to west shall my name be blessed, and the world be about to turn. I shall sing of the day you bring, let the fires of your justice burn. Wipe away all tears, for the dawn draws near, and the world is about to turn. Though I am small, my God, my in me, and your mercy will last from the depths of the past to the end of the age to be. Your very name puts the proud to shame, and to those who are for you yearn. You will show your might, put the strong to flight, for the world is
is about to turn. My heart shall sing of the day you bring. Let the fires of your justice burn. Wipe away all tears for the dawn draws near and the world is about to turn. Tower, not a stone will be left on stone. Let the king beware, for your justice tears every tyrant from his throne. The hungry poor shall weep no more, for the food they can never earn. There are tables spread, every mouth be fed, for the world is about to turn. My heart shall sing of the day. Let the fires of your justice burn. Wipe away all tears, for the dawn draws near, and the world is about to turn. Though nations range from age to age, we remember who holds us fast. God's mercy must deliver us from the conqueror's crashing grasp. The saving word that our forebears heard is the promise which holds us bound. Till the spear and rod can be crushed by God, who is turning the world around. My heart shall sing of the day you bring, let the fires of your justice burn. Wipe away all tears, for the dawn draws near, and the world is Love it. Spirit of fire, water, breath, and bird, fill us with your love and mercy. Go forth in Christ. Amen. Thank you. Yes? Worship, worship and music meeting in the faith room after you get a copy, cup, cup of coffee. Okay. Thank you. And VBS people. <laughs> Come just say hi to me and then we'll talk. <laughs>